Today is Monday, September 9th. Is that right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, here we are surrounded by vineyards getting ready to go to Pine Grove. Pine Ridge. Ridge. Pine Ridge Grove. <laughs> the Grove of Pine Ridge. This is the first time you've come here? Yeah. This is, a, this is a virgin experience for all of us. There's the Pine Ridge. Oh, that's so pretty. It is beautiful. These are neat. It's like a succulent. Yeah, we're going to walk down to this aisle right here. Farmland in this part of the Napa Valley now looking about a half million dollars per acre. And that's just the dirt. We own about 200 acres throughout the valley. We've got okay. uh, vineyards in Carneros. We own 47 acres here in the Stagsy District. In Oakville, we've got 25 acres, just under 50 acres in Rutherford. Keep in mind, wine grapes have seeds. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Sun Made is gonna buy this from us and throw into a box. They want mm -hmm. seedless. So give you an idea how thin the skin is. If you hold it up to the, the light, you actually see the, the, the seed right through it. Right through. Uh -huh. It's like an x-ray out there. If you want to try grapes, help yourself. These things are really good right now. So wine grapes, not very good table grapes because they're tiny. They, and some of the red wine grapes have a fairly thick skin. You got a couple of seeds in there. The first bite when it's when it's ripe though is just absolute joy. It says like 26, 27 percent sugar. Mm -hmm. Table grapes might be 10 or 11 percent sugar. What you're getting in table grapes is a lot of water. That's the last thing we want. Mm -hmm. So what we do when we harvest, um, we actually pick our grapes at night. Uh, we started doing that back in 2003. And what the nighttime harvesting will do is allow us to take advantage of the drop in temperature. When things heat up, they expand. When things cool off, they contract. Grapes will contract when they cool off. So what will happen to our fruit is uh, the grape will shrink a little bit. The uh, skin becomes a little firmer. And when you've got a half a ton of grapes in the tub, that's got a lot of pressure on that bottom layer. So if the skins are more durable, we'll see less burst skins. The grape shrinks. We didn't lose sugar. We just squeeze it all into a smaller package. So the sugar concentration actually goes up a little bit. The indentions. Little, yeah, little sinuses okay. or cutouts. Okay. Every leaf has okay. it. Let's go over here. I'll show you some Malbec. Okay, so Malbec, different grape. Does anybody see a difference? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. You're yeah. experts wow. already. <laughs> One cut out here, sometimes two up there, oh, yeah. but it's going to be massive. Try some of these guys. These are really good okay. right now. Okay. okay. So Malbec for us is just a blending grape. In your cabs? Or, oh my gosh. So we're going to go along this walkway. We're going to go through the Chardonnay room and then uh, get into the main cellar. Do a little cab case in there. Get into the The advantage of using air uh, is you see on the bottom line, it's less expensive. What you specify when you order these barrels is that the first match is. Not follow Tammy. <laughs> Don't follow Tammy. <laughs> Do not follow Tammy. No. No. So in the Napa Valley, there's probably about 250 caves, and all man-made. What it is, is a warehouse first. That's the most important thing, that's why we made these things. The hillside we're in is solid rock. It took them 10 years to drill it all out. But we've got six tenths of a mile and a 34,000 square foot warehouse. We pay taxes on the hill as part of the estate. You can't tax you twice on the same land. So that's oh, that's wow. Free air conditioning. Yeah. yeah. This is naturally cool. And then the last big savings is it's more humid in here than it is outside, so the evaporation is cut in half. Mm -hmm. okay. Higher humidity, slower evaporation. So we have room for about 4,000 barrels. The barrel that we're going to try wine from looks like this on the inside, it has a medium plus toasting. So different degrees of darkness produce different flavors. Uh, the light toasting is going to give you things like creme brulee and vanilla. A uh, very short period of time sitting on that fire. When, and when they toast it, they're putting the whole barrel over that little fire pot. And they're you know, rotating around just so it gets a nice even toast on it. That's medium, that's medium plus, that's heavy. The medium and medium plus is going to start to deliver a lot of the berry flavors that we talk about in wine. And if you're reading a description they talk about things like coffee and chocolate, they'll probably come off a heavy toast barrel. But again, you can't use them forever. It's going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. So we usually start our wines in a brand new barrel then transferred over to an older barrel. And that's like turning the stove down to simmer. We cooked it, and I just wanted those flares. They all marry nice. Uh, we do have slow evaporation, but we have some. So these barrels will be topped off uh, every three or four weeks. The barrel I'm taking my sample from gets topped off every night. Because wow. we get some thirsty folks on our tour. 
<laughs> this is the 2018 Napa Valley Cabernet. This is the same one that I poured for you out of the bottle, mm -hmm. out of the bottle a few mm -hmm. minutes ago. This still has another year to go in the barrel. And it will come out to market probably first quarter of 2021. The blend on it right now is 95% Cabernet, 4% Petit Bordeaux, and 1% Malbec. Very good. Once we get back here, you're under 150 feet of rock. Oh. So we've got two locations you can take a peek at. The rock behind the Chihuly sculpture there, that's what they drilled through the six tenths of that. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this Chihuly? Yes, it is. I knew it. Everybody has one here. Yeah, oh, we can get this one in the garage set now. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, this was commissioned for this location um, back in 1999. The Elche Hooli had an installation with four different wineries as a part of that wine auction. We had one here. The blend on it is 96% Cab and 4% Petit Verdot. And this is the Howl Mountain, Mountain Cab. And then... This is 2014, you say? Yep. Okay. Wow. So, so, so four days in 2014. That you can drink tonight or lay down for 10 to 12 and, and how much is this a bottle? Um, 225. 225. Mark is drinking wine from a $220 bottle of Fortis. Uh, that's two fifties. Do not fortify that. 